It seems like only a couple of days ago that diesel engines were only ever dropped into huge cars that covered thousands of miles a week. And yet here we are with the launch of the dinky new Ford Fiesta and the diesel engine version is the best of the range. I'm not kidding. Of the two petrol engine versions, the 1.4 runs out of puff when you try and pass anything faster than a bus and even the 1.6 feels wimpy. By comparison, the 1.4 litre diesel feels smooth and powerful, pulling away from much lower revs and making the small car feel much bigger. It's not exactly a rocket though, 60 miles an hour takes a rather tedious 14.9 seconds to arrive and it's all over when you get to 101 mph. It is frugal though, Ford claims 65.7 mpg combined, which is not bad. Ford have worked hard to help the Fiesta grow up a bit without sacrificing the driving fun that it's always offered. It still feels agile and fast with a firm and controlled ride, perhaps a little too much so around town when it can get a bit jarring and bumpy. I know it's only a small car, but it's still got to have enough room to be useful. The previous Fiesta was always a tad pokey, and so Ford have made sure that this new one gives plenty of space, both for front and rear seat passengers and boot space. The Fiesta's another 1.4 litre, and we're down now to 67 brake horsepower, which isn't very good at all. It's slightly quicker than the C3 off the mark at 14.9 seconds, though, but you will pay a little more for your insurance. It's an enormous and terrifying Group 4. Ooh. Small car, of course, no longer means badly equipped. Even the base models get twin airbags, a CD player and central locking. Move up the range and you can add electric windows, aircon, alloys and special sporty interiors. There's no way could Ford afford to launch the new Fiesta with anything other than a competitive price tag. The range starts at 8,495 quid and the diesel version weighs in at a reasonable 9,495 pounds.